welcome back to another video on the NZ Day Trader channel. So I'm Shami and today I'm just going to be talking about how you guys can see the real time prices of stocks in the NZ market. So I actually get asked this question quite a bit. I think we've been asked a few times just like, how do you view the real time price of NZ stocks without the 20 minute delay? So the NZX and a lot of other places show a 20 minute delay when you're looking at like NZ stock prices. So I'm going to first show you how you guys can see a free one and then how you guys can see a paid one. So in order for me to see like prices for NZ stocks, me personally, I use direct broking. So with direct broking, it gives me the, the real time price of any stock. So for example, if I go here, so this price here, is the real time price without any delay at all. We've got a market depth. So this is the real time price. And then what I do is I usually just keep refreshing manually. So refresh, refresh, refresh. And this is how I view the price and how I can take advantage of price swings in stocks. So this is just one way. And again, you see any stock here. And these are all the real time prices. So it's good to get one of these accounts. I know that ASB Securities also does the same thing. So this, this is the free way. The second way you can see real-time prices is using subscription-based data on NZX, but it is a little bit expensive and basically it's just better to do it for free using MarketF, but I'll show you guys how to do that anyway. All right guys, so here we have TradingView and I'm just going to show you guys how you can see live prices on charts. So here what I want to do is you want to go to, let's see, account billings. And from here, what you want to do after you go to account billing, then you just want to go to add extra market data. So from here, you can choose, I think the NZX should come here somewhere, Asia Pacific. There you go, right there. So here it costs, I think, $16 USD per month. So this will be billed every month and this will show you the live data on the charts. So I personally don't do this. I use MarketDev because it's a free version. And I don't, I trade, I swing, tro sorry, I swing trade stocks mostly. So I don't really need to look at prices like second by second in the NZ market. Cool, so that's how you can get the data for NZX using a free version and using a paid version. So if you guys have any questions at all, just pop it in the comment section below. Like the video, really appreciate the likes, really appreciate the support on the channel, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys for the next video.